<laughs> no way. Ultra kill the server says. Five in a row. So I thought I'd revisit the best infantry only experience in Battlefield Operation Monitor on Battlefield 4. I'm using a cheesy loadout with the XM to CMS, which is basically a cheat code in this game. And of course, I rack up some pretty nice kills with some interesting moments. Enjoy the video. You know what? Um, <laughs> I'm going to head off to a sort of quieter lane, I think. Oh my god. Oh, nearly. Anyone down here? That's one of my favourite spots here. If I sit there whilst all these guys are flowing by and I'm on the other team. Mad number of kills. Okay, we've got a proper flank going on here then. You know, screw it. I'm screw the team. Screw the objective. I'm going for the glory. I'm going for the kills here. We've got a sizable kind of. We've got sizable force coming through. No, 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 no. You've got to get closer, son. Ultra kill, the server says. Five in a row. Man, I love this game. I love this game so, so much. Such, such, such a humongous shame that 2042 was so crap. When did video game developers decide that, that fun and keeping your community on side was not worth it anymore? It will be one of the greatest mysteries. It will be studied in the classroom for, for decades. Why on earth did DICE and EA decide to completely alienate their existing massive, massive player base to go for some cheap knockoff of a game that already existed when that game that already existed was copying tons of elements from their game? It, I really just don't get it at all, but probably never will. I think the true answer is that there's no good reason. Is that nice? Is that EA smelt the potential for the bag with with Warzone, and they completely buckled, and what we got a result was two thousand was Battlefield twenty forty two. spot I've got here. I'm gonna lose it. Okay, no I'm not. Hold on, these cardboard boxes are bulletproof it seems. Oh, we've got the long reload. Come on, take your time mate. It's only a life or death situation here. Oh no. Please don't blow up my box. <laughs> oh. How the hell I didn't hit that guy once. So like, just like that. Just a cool little triple. That's all it takes. Oh, what a grenade. What's going on? What the... No way! Last man in the squad. Come on, team. Spawn on me. Look at this. We've got a great spot. Please. No. If only I had a bloody assault rifle right now. Oh, look at that. Is that like a triple kill, really, with an aid? Well, that was a bad move. Nice. Oh. Little stealthy mission down here. Drop down. No way. <laughs> That's cheesy. Man, I'm trying to see and you're blocking me. What the hell? See, that's the benefit as well. If I die here, I'm guaranteed to revive. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> nice. Hello. Run the hell away. No way. Oh, definitely worth it. A triple. Come on, push, push, push. I just did a ton of damage to them. Oh my god, they're letting me live. Now is not the time. Come on, now is not the time. How am I alive? <laughs> right, there we go, there's one. Ah, oh, come on. Where's the support from the team? What in the hell? Where did he come from? Wow. Uh, um. Lots of guys up there. Look at that. Ball hacks. Oh no, that was never going to work. That's crazy. Never seen that before. Oh, they're up on top of E. Wow, he probably thinks I'm hacking. He's just he did that lean mechanic there. I haven't seen that used maybe ever. And I have been team switched. Great. This is one of the worst things about Battlefield 4 in 2024. The bloody server plugins and stuff that just ruined the game for you. Like, oh my god. Like, what? We've got a nuke firing. What the hell? What are you talking about? What is this server? Like, you know, I get base rapes are not the most enjoyable thing, but it's part of the game, mate. How the f I could not see a thing with that guy's flashlight. Flashlight's OP. Okay. <laughs> I'd be pissed if I was that guy. I was mid jump as well. I don't think. Oh my god, you know what? You deserve a tea bag. That was poor. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah, it looks like we're not going to do enough then. That's unfortunate. The team switch has made me lose the game. <laughs> oh, really annoying. But, yeah, guys, I mean, that'll be it from me. Oh, there's a guy in there, so we can get the tunnel going. Operation Locker is still the golden standard, in my opinion, for sort of infantry gameplay in a battlefield game. It's definitely still very enjoyable. If you guys haven't checked out Operation Locker in a while, I definitely recommend you give it a try. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate your viewership. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.